checked out before we head out to town again. Mm -hmm. On to jobs, like no other. We got a lot of jobs going this week. It's gonna be a fun week. I think. A lot of things going on. It's busy, busy. Uh, the house is the biggest thing that I'm really excited about right now. So get this Dodge sold and get the house going. That way I'll have a livable house. station get me a, a Red Bull because <laughs> I don't have one things will get bad Jorge is this uh, episode sponsored by Red Bull no but <laughs> Red Bull's watching and they see me drinking them enough maybe they will <laughs> give me free Red Bulls cement not stick to the rubber. We're grinding off all the rust on this fence so we can repaint it. Later on, we will put panels on the pillars. Camels? Panels! Wow, sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We are here uh, painting these pillars here, the caps. So I don't know whether it's painting the the top up here, top of this wall. Everything's taped up. Once all the painting's done, we are gonna begin to panel the pillars, all four sides, okay. with the uh, panels that we work with a lot. the feathers in there. The fiber too. Strengthen it.
these were white. So we didn't know what color it was. So I spent about three days mixing colors until I got the color of the house right. And that's how we did that side, the pool, and that's how we're doing these. I just mix colors, I guess. But I, yeah, I got, they gave me three colors to work with, which was a brown, a sand, and a red. And I mixed them until I, I got the, the right measurement right of what color the water and you give me a co couple colors and I'll make some I'll make the color you want turn it on its side because then it's gonna leak gas all look at this Ooh. carpet is stained in this car she can be washed no maybe if we turn it around like that and then turn it side maybe freaking Jam it in there like that, that'll work. Hope it doesn't leak gas all over the car. Link. Oh, this is a sealer. Oh, cool. We have a sealer. I didn't even know we had a sealer in here. Damn. Huh. That's good to know. Very good to know. How do you like the storage? It's coming out pretty good, huh? <laughs> Thanks for that. Last time there's a pile. Of, there's a rock. We got a rock in our storage here. We like to store rocks in here. Oh no! <coughs> what is it? It's strong. <coughs> this one's sealer. So these two are sealer. I don't know what the hell that last one was. Why do we got so much freaking sealer? they take this one I wonder I'll take it but I bet you anything it's gonna be the wrong color let's see we'll put we've got like so much freaking crap look at this there's bottles of what color is this let's see it's clogged up because nobody cleaned it out and left it full look at this this is Ooh, is that red or brown? To my brown. To my eye, it looks brown. Or dark brown. Dang it. Richie sent us out to get some more Saddle Brown today. We do have a brand new one of Saddle Brown because they're out, but, well, I don't like to waste stuff. So I'm trying to go through all our bottles and find our any browns that we do have. So we've got a gray and a black back there, which we can't use. And these are the three, well, these are the three new ones. So we'll take these two. Hopefully they can use them. If not, well, we'll throw them away or whatever. Nope. So we've got three brand new bottles and only two of the colors. So what you do, uh, actually with this color, it's probably good to explain to everybody here. This is just one of the, the brands that we use Amera polish but uh, it's a pretty good color pretty good coloring for concrete so you buy your big jug of hardener it's like a i don't know i don't know the chemical reaction but 
it's just a jug of something. I don't know. And then uh, this is actual color here. So this is uh, burnt sienna, which is like a reddish um, orange color, I guess. Maybe kind of like a like a fire color. Mm -hmm. So dump that into this bottle, and then you just mix it. And once it's mixed, you know you can't go back, so it's done. But you get a full gallon of color for each one. So yeah, we've got that one. But he needs the saddle brown, which is what we came for right here. So we'll take this, we'll take this, and he should be good. We'll get a full gallon of Saddle Brown for him. We'll take those two as well, see if we can use them. We make the panels as you guys saw in the videos before. And then we square them up, and then we go and patch the the corners so they look like solid pieces of rock. When this is actually a four foot section, and then you get the colors. We mix them to match the color of the house. Can you say that again, but with a smile? <laughs> <laughs> yeah this job you guys have seen as you guys have seen uh, throughout the whole thing we've been coming through uh, everything with stucco before on this wall the pillars were stucco the bottom wall was stucco with the metal fencing well we refreshed it repainted all the uh, metal fencing grinded down the really rough spots that were rusted out all the metal got it painted black again came through with the walls and re um, patched the stucco where it was pretty bad then came through, repainted those with an elastomeric paint, which is a little better than regular paint. It's made for outdoors, it's made for stucco to repel water. So it's a really thick, almost like a rubberized coating paint. Um, it's really thick, so that'll help repel the water in the future. And with the pillars, instead of going with the original stucco, we went ahead and rocked them to match the house. Match that up, got them stained. And uh, of course it's with our rock panel system. So it's made to look like the veneer stone that you buy and glue on. These we make them ourselves, stain them, can make whatever colors we want. But yeah. guys have seen us working through this job we finally got it wrapped up got all the pillars stained uh, stained and then we also did a sealer on them it's not a high gloss sealer so it's not gonna be really shiny just depends on what kind of sealer you want to do came out really nice we got this uh, last minute the customer added this uh, keypad here I guess they had an issue with the old one and the old one was a little uh, didn't look quite as nice so now we put a pillar on there to match the other pillars, poured the concrete top, stuccoed it, uh, basically built it from scratch. And yeah, the only thing that's missing is the uh, keypad. But they'll come back, uh, so we just put a metal plate there. They can come back, install the new keypad uh, once it comes in, uh, I guess, from shipping or whatnot. So job well done, we're all through here and yeah, head on to the next one.